What's going on guys, Shanti here. Today we're going to be discussing the recent patch notes for Season 4 of Year 4 for Rainbow Six Siege, Operation Shifting Tides. Now for one, this video is going to talk about the main stuff, the operator changes, not so much the gun balancing and, you know, thing. The only thing I'm going to mention is that Ella's shotgun is finally getting a nerf. All you console players, thank God. I think this was way worse than the SMG was itself. That's just my opinion. But getting on to the changes, surprisingly... Ubisoft is going back and giving another buff for Glaz. It feels like a back and forth tug of war with Glaz at this point. They nerf him, they buff him, 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 and now they're buffing him again. And if we check it out, basically what they're going to do is that they said that they're going to increase the highlight base intensity. So basically, when you're not charged up, the intensity for his scope is going to be a bit brighter now. I don't know if this affects seeing through smoke, but uh, it kind of seems anti like what they were going for. They put a charge so you don't have to abuse it and rush. And then Glass also got a rate of fire increase. It makes no sense, Ubisoft. This is a weird buff. I'm not really expecting. I guess they're just trying to make them a lot, you know, more comfortable to use. But comfortable means can be broken too, because when people got comfortable with Glass, they were rushing in, smoking out, going all crazy and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean. It is what it is, but uh, next up we have Kaid. They're basically increasing his electro claw radius from 0.75 meters to a whopping 1.3 meters. Now, what does this mean? Is that the range is significantly increased from what it was before, and they also replaced his impact grenades with barbed wire, so you can combo that back up again. But I mean, in general, I'm like, I'm little. Uh, this buff for Kaid is pretty substantial. Um, Increased radius for those electric crawls can make a lot more things possible and they kind of talk about how they want players to be more creative with these They really they really like how players utilize them, but at the same time. It's like Jesus Christ I don't know if I want to you know deal with that like I'm nervous to see some strats and Kaid I feel is gonna become a more prominent band than he already is but it is what it is on that one now warden is also getting a buff in a way not really a buff there i mean you can say it's a buff but i i think this is kind of a desperation i mean this change makes sense but they're replacing this barbed wire with a c4 they stated how they just want to increase his anchor ability because it does make sense that he's in the objective he shouldn't be roaming he has glasses that can see through smoke and deny the plant but again he's super situational and even people using smoke anymore for plants it can be somewhat rare and i mean Maestro does a better job than Warden does in denying it, but uh, that's just my opinion. I don't know how much this is going to really mean for Warden and what it does, but I think on the biggest one is Jackals getting a nerf. Now, they talked about this before, but they're reiterating it here, and I haven't talked about it yet. So basically, based off of you know how fresh the footstep is, it's going to base how many pings you get. So if it's red hot, you're going to get four pings. If it's, you know... Greenish, you can. St there's going to be different. It's the circle around is also thing. You get three pings. You know, green is two pings. Blue is one ping. So, uh, I mean, green is it green? It's like a dark green, blue. It's it's actually a little confusing color wise. But yeah, they differentiate with you know, basing on the freshness of the you know, footstep of how you're gonna, you know, how many times you get ping. I think this is actually a phenomenal solution. I didn't even think about this, honestly. I think it's, it's a great job of, you know, controlling Jackal's ability as well as maintaining what he was meant for, clearing out roamers. And if he's clearing out roamers from across the map and he's getting these people getting pinged, it becomes distracting. But if he's on to somebody and he's tracking them and he pings them and, it's, and he's right by him and they get four pings, that seems a little bit more fair. You know, that also tells a person like, yeah, if this person is right by me if, you know, you see four pings. So it gives both the attacker and defender opportunity to understand the situation. Now, how will this play out and will this reduce his ban rate? Only time can tell. But so far, all these are looking to be dropping. At least the operator changes are looking to be dropping when Operation Shifting uh, Tide launches. Now, I do not know if they gave a date exactly. But, I mean, in general, uh, I'm looking pretty. I'm looking forward to this. Also, the Bosch G, G is getting an ACOG now. We'll see how that plays off. I don't mean, I'm not really against it. It is, I know, a slug shotgun, but uh, 
you know, Kaid's shotgun has it, Goyo has it. It, it makes sense for the boss G to at least have it. Give that gun some, you know, leeway or like, I don't know, just give the gun some redeeming factor besides the slug round. But yeah, pretty much that's all we are getting in terms of like major, major, in my opinion, shifts to uh what's it called the sh you know current meta or operator changes we gotta see how new operators also fit into this things can train drastically next season like usual but yeah i mean overall i'm liking a lot of the changes i'm a little surprised by glass super stoked about jackal kaid i'm a little worried about as well as you know the glass but uh yeah that's, pretty, that's all i got for this one i mean only time can tell let's see how good these changes are in the tts do they keep them do they make any subtle changes i'll definitely be update updating you guys with that but uh yeah, until next time, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege news, updates, content, you know, content, whatever. Support, you know, Siege, you like it. Subscribe to the channel. I do cover that and play it. I love it. It's been four years. Still love it, despite its Ubisoft frustrations. But, yeah, that's another video. But, uh, yeah, again, hope you guys have a good one. Until next time, guys. Hope you guys like and subscribe for more. Challenge you here. And I'm out.